guys, today I'll be showing you how to get the Noose Outfit in Grand Theft Auto Online. So to begin this, equip your favorite outfit as this glitch will delete all your currently saved outfits, unfortunately. Once you do, hit start, go to online, and then swap characters. Now for this part, you must have a male character in the first slot and then the female character in the second slot. Now if you already have a character in the second slot, you'll have to delete it before you begin this glitch. So once you load into the character selection screen, go ahead and click on your secondary character. Once you click on the secondary character, it'll ask you to copy the rank of your first character. Just click yes. It'll then take you to the character editing screen. From here, all you have to do is just make sure that your character is a female, and then from there, you just have to save and continue. Just make sure it is a female, otherwise this glitch will not work properly. It'll then ask you to take a picture, just go ahead and do that, and then continue into the free roam lobby. Eventually you'll load in, and then we'll have to make our way over to the Diamond Casino. Fortunately, when you get here, you'll have to sit through an extensively long cutscene, so just go ahead and bang that out. After the cutscene, you'll eventually load into the casino, and the next step is to head up to the cashier. Once you're there, we're going to be purchasing at least a minimum of 12,000 chips. I just maxed mine out at 20,000. From there back on out and head on over to the store inside the diamond casino once here go to the top section and go to sports jackets at the bottom of the list we're going to purchase the maroon broker puffer once you have it equipped back on out and head outside now open up your menu and look at the map sometimes the clothing stores glitch out if this has happened to you just go back to online and then find a new session eventually you'll load back in and then open up your menu and you should see the clothing stores back on the map now head on over to one of the clothing stores. The next step is to head over to the accessory sections and unequip any type of items that you may have equipped. Like no ties, no scarves, no chains, no gloves, and especially no earrings. Next head over to the glasses section and under casual glasses purchase and equip the copper marbles. Next for the pants, under sports pants purchase the first one the spotted muscle pants. Next head over to the top section and under tank tops purchase and equip the two tone tank. Next, head over to the shoes section and under skate shoes, purchase and equip the all black backsides. Now from here, save the outfit in the first slot, it doesn't matter what you name it. Next, head on over to the front desk and go to the outfit section. Go to Arena War and then go to the Space Traveler suits. Purchase the first one, the White Space Traveler. From there, save the outfit in the second slot. Once again, it doesn't matter what you name it. After you save it, you can back on out. Next, open up your interactive menu and go to Styles, then go down to Outfits. Switch to your first saved outfit. From there, you can head on over to the top section. Now under Work Jackets, purchase the Peach Camo Open Field. For you, it may have Peach Camo Closed Field. If it does, you can purchase that one. If your jacket was open like mine, back on out and open up your interactive menu. Go down to Styles, and under Styles, at the very bottom of the list, you'll see the jacket. Then just change it from open to closed. Next, go back to the top section and under gun running t-shirts, at the very bottom of the list, you'll see blue digital t-shirt. Purchase and equip that one. Once you have that equipped, save that outfit in the third slot. And again, it does not matter what you name it. Once you have all three outfits saved, click start, go to online, and then go down to creator. From here, it'll ask you if you want to quit the session, just hit yes. Once the menu loads in, we're going to go to create a race, and then do the land race. When the menu finally loads in, go to race details, and then you'll have to make a title and a description. It does not matter what you name them. Then you'll have to take a photo. It doesn't matter what you take a picture of, just go ahead and take one. After you take a picture, go to race type and make sure it's standard, and then make sure the route type is point to point. Once that's all set up, back out and go to placement. Under this, we'll have to place a trigger location. I recommend putting it on like a large road. Once you have it placed, back out, and then we'll have to take another picture for the lobby camera. Once again, it does not matter what you take a picture of, just go ahead and capture the sky. Next, back out, and then go to checkpoints. From here, we'll have to start setting down the checkpoints and the starting position for the race. It doesn't matter where you put the race or the checkpoints, just try to make the race itself 0.8 miles long to about 1 miles long. Once you have all the checkpoints placed, back out, and we'll have to test the race. For this, all you have to do is just complete the race. It'll then bring you to the screen, and then just push OK. Now, after you complete the race and the menu returns, hit Start, and then go over to Online. From here, we're going to do Choose Character. It'll then ask you if you want to quit, just push Yes. 
Once we load back in, we'll go to our second character and then we'll have to delete the secondary character. Make sure not to delete your first one. When you push delete on the character, it'll ask you to confirm it and then to type out delete to confirm the deletion of that character. You will then load back into the character selection screen after you delete the character. From here, don't touch anything and don't try to log into any character. Instead, you'll see a little button at the bottom for return to Grand Theft Auto 5. Push that button. This should then bring you back to the offline story mode. Once you load in, hit start and go to online. From there, go down to play GTA Online and then just click go. It'll then ask you if you want to quit your session, just push yes. Now once you load back in, make your way down to the clothing store. Now if you go to the front desk and go to outfits, under saved outfits you should see the three outfits that we had saved on the second character. Do not equip any of them. Now just as a one-off, save your current outfit if it is your favorite outfit, that way you can keep it and not lose it. Now continuing with the glitch, open up your menu and go to styles and then go to outfits. Equip the second saved outfit. If you did the glitch correctly, it should look like this. You should see the noose pants on this outfit. Next, go back to the outfit section and under saved outfits, delete the second saved outfit, the one that you're currently wearing. Do not change your outfits after you do this. The next step is to open up your menu, go to online, and then go to jobs. From here, we're gonna go to play job, and then go down to rockstar created. Now under the Versus tab, we're going to start up the mission, Crooked Cop. Now normally for this glitch, you would want to try to get into a private session, so that way you're by yourself, so you can edit the savings. However, I ended up in another host session, which is okay under one circumstance. You're going to want to make sure that the clothing is set to player own. If it's not set to player own, back out of this session. However, if you're hosting your own session, you can change the clothing option to player own. From there, if you're in the session by yourself, click continue and then click auto invite and you'll just have to wait till somebody joins your session. However, if you're lucky enough to end up with a session where there is a clothing option with the player owned, you can just continue onward. Now once you finally load into the session and it starts, you're going to want to go down to own outfits. Push right once, you should see the top appear. Push left twice and then you should get the duty belt onto the outfit. From there, just ready up and wait for it to load in. The next step will have to be done quickly in case other players leave the mission causing you to go back to free roam. Once you load in, open up your interactive menu. Then go down to styles. Under styles, you're going to go to accessories and hover over the gear section. Push left to equip an earpiece. Once you have it equipped, open up your phone and go to job list. From there, you can close out the mission or quit the mission. This should then bring you back to free roam lobby. Now when you load back in, you should see that you have the full noose outfit. The next step is to head to the clothing store and go up to the glasses section. From here, we're going to take off the glasses that we currently have equipped. Do not equip any other glasses as it will cause your outfit to disappear. Once the glasses are removed, you can then save the outfit. Next, head over to the mask store and we're going to go into the ski mask section. Under ski mask, we're going to equip the black tight ski. Doing this will cause the outfit to disappear, but that's okay because we already saved it. Now still at the mask store under the hat section, under bulletproof helmets, we're going to equip the black bulletproof, if you want to go for the standard deuce look. The next step is to get over to a telescope. We'll be doing the telescope mask glitch. To do this glitch, have the mask and helmet equipped. Run past the telescope, and as you run past it, click the activation button to look into it. If done correctly, your player will stand there and stare at nothing. From there, open up your interactive menu and go to Styles. Under Styles, go down your outfit and switch to the noose outfit that we had saved earlier. Once it's equipped, you can walk away from the telescope. Also, you can back out of the interactive menu. As you walk away, you can see the mask and the helmet reappear onto the noose outfit. Now all we have to do is save the outfit for a final time. That then completes the noose outfit. You can now change freely in between your saved outfits without losing it. That's all I have for this video guys, I hope it helped you out and if you have any questions feel free to ask them down in the comments. My name is Muffly and I'll see you badasses out in Los Santos.